Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa guys. guys. Welcome back, back to our vlog. And today we have got a little treat for you and a little treat for ourselves. Yeah. Because <laughs> we are going to be eating Japanese candy and snacks. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so. And so this particular one we got off Amazon made by Sushi, Sushi candy. candy. It came with a little note. And the little bow. We'll tell people what the note says. And it's just like a little story on about how this sumo wrestler style character ate so much candy that his ribbon throughout his hair. And so if you want, you can, once you've eaten some, you can tie his hair back up in a, a pretty little bow. Like so. <laughs> but enough of that. Enough of that, let's get into the video. So we bought ours off Amazon, and this particular one, the sushi candy, it's actually stocked and dispatched by Amazon, so we didn't have to worry about slow times of coming out or any getting stuck in customs. Yeah, it was pretty quick once it, that yeah, it came within up. just a couple of days. So we've never tried Japanese that, candy before, no, have we? With that one, you could have, if you have the prime you could have had it next day with this we add it to a locker do you want to try and open that probably not maybe we should have bought some scissors maybe because <laughs> yeah, that's failing there we go the particular one it comes with 20 different japanese authentic japanese snacks and inside, oh, wow. it's got a little description in English for you to understand what you're eating. This is the first time we've ever had it, and so it's all. So I suppose we'll tell people eyes. what they are as we're opening them, aren't we? Do you want to pick one out at random? Ooh, Ooh. what's this? This looks like oh. So pariki. Is that pariki barbecue, pretzel barbecue flavour. So there we go, we we'll start off with some something savoury. I think you're going to sneeze. And so I think these are quite a popular thing in Japan, these little pretzel flavoured sticks. It's got a quite cute... I think Japan tends to do lots of animated pictures on the front. Some happy peppers and a fruit kebab. Okay, thank you. So it's quite a... Cheers. Nice and crunchy. So to me it tastes a bit like, you know those fishes you get in the packets? You know oh, those fish and chips. You know, is it fish and chips, but they're just like fishes, and they're like this. Mm -hmm. But they're in the shape of a fish. Mm -hmm. Tastes nice, it's not a overpowering barbecue like some more American style barbecues to me mm. seem to be. It's just got a bit of warmth, a bit of sweetness. That's quite nice though. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. So I'll pick out the next one. And it looks like that with some another very happy character. Is it a mini cream puffs contains calcium. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think you don't think it <laughs> needs to contain so some mini cream puffs. It's got a little character holder in both going. Yata! Is it? Well, it's, I don't know it's saying Yatar, but he, he looks very happy. Yatar's not Japanese. Ja Yatar Japanese, yeah? Yeah. Yatar. What's it Japanese for? I did it. <laughs> and we know that from when we watched Heroes. And Hero, the one who can command space and time. That's what he said. I was like really obsessed with that program at one point. Yeah, we really loved that. And that's why he said when he managed to stop time for the that's the little the little balls. Oh, they they almost look like little potato rolls. They do, don't they? And so now we're going from savoury to something. I've kind of just like ripped mine apart. Oh, look, it's just like crumbled. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> and that's why I go first. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. So they are a bit like a profiterole, aren't they? They're very profiterole in the chocolate like inside. It's a bit like the chocolate you normally have on the top. A drier version of a profiterole. You know, I forgot the water. 
Ah, oh, dear. Earthquake is just Aaron moving. Oh, and Einstein moving. They're all just like, run around. Water. Got some palisades. Obviously, we've got 20 different snacks to try. The one while I cleanse my palate. So, this one. Oh, gosh. I'm guessing is that one there, isn't it? Bite sized rice crackers with nuts. And it just looks like a happy old lady in a son with some sort of mallet and he's going up a tree and this all this. It's old. like Jack in the Beanstalk or something, no? No. Well he's like up a tree but I don't think he's after any giant. Looks a bit like a Japanese version of Natala. Just like mean, that. No, just the just the Design on the front. I don't know, it just reminds me a bit of the Nutella design. Yeah. Watch out, Nutella. Okay, They're sweetie. They're coming for you. <laughs> Very easy to get into. Cute design. And so these are really small. Oh. Wow, well, how many we... I say, well, I'm, I just... two. Wow, well, I've got... Yeah, it's, it's a little weird, aren't they? A little bit like they're like real pork scratchings. Yeah, hopefully without the. <laughs> what is it again? Bite size rice cr Oh no. What? I'm not keen on that. Obviously, it's not got a lot of. No, it, it's just so bland. And so it's called mochi taro. And so it is just like a. Mochi nuts down more like. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a lot of flavour, it's just a bit like a. Yeah, I ready, prefer Nutella. Ready salted crisps almost. Do you think? Mm. It tasted worse than the salted crisps. Ah, I don't know. Anyway, so what's this one, Aaron? So this one. Oh, it's a chocolate flavour, flavoured ramoon candy. That does say ramoon, doesn't it? Chocolate it flavor. definitely looks like Remune, and it's called Remune Chocobi. Chocobi. Obviously, we don't speak any Japanese, but so again, there's lots going on in the packet. There isn't a... There's all sorts of kids running around. Well, do, do we have that much rice on our like stuff? We do have lots of rice, and it's we don't lots have of as rice. many. So I'd be happy not to eat the last one ever again. Oh. So it looks like these ones are, oh gosh, individually wrapped, even oh, though they are tiny. Absolutely, mine's a tiny star. Mine's a tiny, tiny star. star. Just like me. Yeah, tiny star. 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 Yeah. But they look a bit like a you know like a wormer that you give to a dog or something. <laughs> Maybe more <laughs> like a, a wormer to give to children. Anyway, so bottoms up. Mm. Are you biting yours or just sucking it? No. Bit it a bit. Mm. Oh. So they're very hard. Mm. I'm not sure if you're meant to suck it or chew it. But it would be a very long programme if you just watched this sucking one of those because even though they're small they are quite hard. I have to say that's quite intense. And that's weird, it's almost like they've hardened up some like drinking chocolate. Yeah, it does taste quite like a hot chocolate but, but not a very good hard chocolate tablety thing. Oh no, that's horrible. It was, that's That'd be a bit like, you know, least. when the world ended. And they didn't have any actual real food anymore. Oh. And it is very like what you'd expect an astronaut to take up to space. Yeah, and they've balled it up into like sweet form. But yeah, that's that's my least favourite so far. So the next one. Can show the camera. Which one is it? It's got like a little. I'm guessing what's that on there? Into shim, shimmy choco corn. Corn snack coated into chocolate. Oh, oh it could be said shimmy Look, choco. It's got, like, it's got like a little star on it there. Yeah, shimmy choco corn. Oh. And so hope, oh, okay. <laughs> hopefully it's a bit easier on the palate than the other. They are all very happy. Like to be a, a full bar. Oh, gosh, that 
looks a lot like one of a dog chew. Yeah, that does look like a dog chew. So I don't think I'll... Oh, you know what it reminds me of? A dog chew. You know, no, like right. cereal. It reminds me of cereal, but they've not cut it up yet. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think I'll have to just bite into oh. this. Cause... No, we'll have to just eat it. It's softer than I thought it was going to be. It is very nice. It tastes just like mini Rice Krispies that have been mixed with the chocolate. You know, like the Rice Krispies. Cho- I mean, it tastes a bit like a... Rice cakes. Tastes a bit like a corn crisp, but they've chocolatized it. No, it tastes like, like mini Rice Krispies. Like a corn snack. This is nice. It reminds me of like a... What are those orange crisps called? What's it? Yeah, it reminds me a bit of a what's it, but chocolate flavoured. I think it's very good, that. It's definitely... A lot better than the last star flavoured chocolatey thing we had. It's okay. I like it. You imagine it's quite good because of its crispy airiness. It's yeah. very light. Like it holds as many calories as some things can. Oh. Mm-hmm. So this looks like it's going to be savoury. Mm. It's got the frog police on the front. Has it? Yeah. What is it? No idea. Let's find out. Looks, I guess it's like a seaweed. Cabbage taro. Ooh. Balls of corn snack flavoured with small pieces of seaweed and Japanese brown sauce. Ooh. So this could be like a... I, it, obviously, it's, I think I'll cleanse my palate. <laughs> it could be good or it could be. My bar thing. <laughs> so I could imagine I like these because I do like when you go and you can have the crispy seaweed places. And also I do like sushi and that's just all wrapped in... A uh, kind of seaweed. Ooh, smells a lot nicer than the Oh, it does actually uh, smells. It smells a bit like the tomato balls. Mm. Like, so that's probably the Japanese brown sauce. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. I like them. Just, just check. <laughs> yeah, I like them. So yeah, obviously the brown sauce gives it a bit of a umami. Mm. Brown sauce making seaweed taste really nice. But it's not like a HP brown sauce, it's a lot no. more subtle. And obviously it must be a help because it's got seaweed in <laughs> I'm guessing that the brown sauce is just what they're calling... What, what those satsus you get with the pot noodles? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about the soy sauce? Yeah, is that yeah. what they mean, soy sauce? Could be. But it did taste good. Oh, it's Aaron's turn to pick. Oh, so I picked, oh god, these are called. Oh gosh. So you just described it. a little pig on the front. It's got a little pig on the front. They look like mashed up, talking about pot noodles, mashed up like broken up pot noodle. Mm, so this is potentially called yakisoba santaro, which are crispy noodles. So they, they are very small. So we'll probably have to eat a couple of these and hope they're not too bad. They're what? What are they? Crispy noodles. Oh, they're not spicy. Well, it doesn't say how they're flavoured, just that they're crispy. And Einstein, the pug, is currently just running around frantically because even though he's just had his food, he is gagging to try some Japanese candy. So if you can hear, like, noises. Some tap dances. So that didn't really have any kind of... It's like a bland Bombay mix. Yeah, I, I have to say, it has got that sort of Bombay mix texture. To me, it's almost <laughs> got like a Not sausage. A <laughs> it's got like a sausage. To me, it tastes a bit like a sausage roll. Oh, yeah, because that's what the pig is on the front. I don't know, but the, the pig looks a bit happy if he ends up being made into it. <laughs> I'm in this. <laughs> So on the back it's even got little instructions of how to pour them in your hands and then put them in your mouth and look really happy. That's weird how we knew how to do that. <laughs> Without even reading the instructions. It's universal. Go on then You'll go. Oh. So this one, it's like a little happy child. And I think these are another crisp. Chicken flavoured potato crisps. Oh, so these should be nice. 
And I like potato and I like chicken and I like crisps. So where can, how could we go wrong? It's obvious this is a very petite <laughs> size of okay. Ooh, yeah. crisps. Cheers. Oh yeah, cheers, look at that. How should they make them? I don't know, because they look like... Oh, very crispy. Mmm. Wow. They're nice. But it kind of reminds me a bit of... You know like when you boil potatoes? Like, you, you cut them up, you know like... Um, almost a bit like those potatoes we get from Mark. Oh, where they've been battered, coated in batter. Yeah, but like that, but then they fried them. I don't know, they are very nice. Mm -hmm. So crispy. So at the moment, I'm more impressed with the savoury stuff than the sweet, aren't you? We've not had many sweet, sweet things. We haven't considered it's candy. Well, maybe there's just lots more sweet things to come. Onwards yeah. and upwards. Yep, yeah, because this is a pack of 20. Don't know how many we've gotten through. I hope there's ones in here we can actually share. What if it's just that one? This feels a bit like the last one we had. You know, it was a bit like a, a dog chew. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got like a happy little photo. I can't even work out what these things are. They're just like... And what would you say that thing is? me of a bit like... I think it's meant to be an octopus because it's got a few legs. Oh, it yeah. reminds me a bit of Kirby from the games. Do you think that means it's uh, going to taste like seafood? Is it not these things, is it? Yeah. I see we meant to have two of them. This is a different flavour. Should we just try it and see what we think first? Yeah. There's one that's red. That, was this red one? Yeah. Oh, so this one's a red one. Wait, so that's really? like sugar. Sugar? God. Well, I don't know. But we'll, we'll try it and we'll... It doesn't look like sugar. It does not look like a sugar. It's got sweet. like a big hole in the middle. Yeah, so again it's got the... dog clean dental clean shoes design. Is it sweet or savoury? It tastes like a barbecue flavour or something or other. Mm -hmm. What's it meant to be? I'm sorry if it's the savoury one. That tastes good or something else. Then it's made using pieces of octopus. Really? Apparently. There's a slightly fishy flavour to it, but not like overpowering. Well, yeah, it tastes okay. Just when it's saying containing pieces of octopus, it doesn't really sound like something you'd massively choose to. Isn't that like calamari though? Yeah. Is it? Obviously, calamari's not squid. being yeah squids, and it's not just being stuck in a a packet for who knows how long. <laughs> Why do you have to tell me that? <laughs> anyway, onwards. <laughs> oh, do you want to do this one now? What is it, gummies? It, it's like sweet. Gummies. But this is the one where you sort of build it a bit like sushi and combine all the different flavours. So yeah, this one is one that you can... It's called, it's called Nicky Nicky. Or sushi and gumi. So it's different shapes of gummy that you. So it's got banana and plum, apricot flavour, banana and lemon, soda flavour. Oh. Also, if you mix them together, they're meant to make another flavour. Yeah, apparently there's a little picture and there's like seven like different combinations, and apparently each different combination. Taste different. These ones are really well sealed. It's almost a shame to open it because it does <clears> look hey, really good. Sweet. Oh. Is that? 
So when you open it up, it's it's another sealed packet. So how do we build these up together? We just. thing on top of it. No, it's just excess coming. So I'll get... <laughs> oh. Ooh, they are very sticky, these gummies. I suppose they need to be. So I'm going to get it's one gonna my... of each. It's going to do my dentures no good. Colours. <laughs> I think I'll just stick with one colour, I think, thanks. They are so sticky. But obviously, I'm guessing they have to be, so now I've made a delicious gummy soup. Say it, don't spray it. <laughs> I'm not leaving that in. We've made delicious gummy sushi. Yeah. It smells like a little bear paw. What? It smells like it. It smells like a little bear paw. Is that a bear paw or is that meant to be something else? I don't know. Mine's obviously prawn and some other stuff. Really? Ready? So I suppose it did, it tasted quite nice. Yeah, it's got very nice flavours. It seems like a lot of effort just to have a sweat here. Yeah, I think it's just more to keep the children busy. And it's certainly doing that. <laughs> See, I like the flavour of those. Although I'm not a massive fan of really chewy gummies because after a while it just... Yeah, it was really, they were really sticky but they weren't really chewy though, were they? Of this, I'm not sure. I think I have to take in turns unless it looks like a little bottle with a little duck. It's, so it's called Mini Bottled Ramoon. Ramoon again, like the chocolate stars. Uh, oh, so the packet looks a bit like that. <laughs> it's like a little duck. Is that a duck? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Little duck. And so the idea is you just pop it open and just pour a bit in your mouth. So I'm going to do that and we'll see what he thinks of it. Do you want to pour it into your yeah. mouth? Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in my mouth without it touching my mouth. Do you you'll be able to? No, no, you don't to pour it in my mouth. That's something i just pouring it in your mouth. Yeah, it's a bit like a mild sherbet. Oh, it reminds me of one of those sweets that... It doesn't really taste of anything, but it reminds me of one of those sweets that like melts on your tongue. <laughs> but I can't think what they're called. <laughs> but you can have that. <laughs> it can't be having any more of that one. I thought it was quite nice. Just like quite a mild <coughs> sherbet. It's not that there's something it's like it starts off as like a hard sweet but then you put in your tongue and it melts. Yeah. So I can't what the oh, what's So this it looks like a I imagine oh. oh so it's a fish shaped airy wafer cake shell. Ooh. Yeah. A fish shaped airy something a fish shaped airy wafer cake shell. So it looks like it's just going to be one massive goldfish kind of. So <laughs> one will have to break it in half. Oh, it looks nice. See the looks of this. It reminds me a bit of the Nutella Be Ready bars. Oh, I don't like those. <laughs> they might not be. <laughs> Heads or tails. <laughs> Everyone likes the fish head. <clears throat> oh. You want to go for the tails, don't you? Yeah. But it, it's not soft inside. It's quite... Looks like it's still like an arrow inside. Yeah, it's almost like an arrow. Mm. Which it does actually taste like it is. Chocolate. As you can see Einstein's getting really excited about this one. 
Oh, you don't ever eat stuff like this. Yeah, it's the chocolate's nice. Hmm. It's not as dry as the chocolate makes it look. Well, you don't normally like wafers, do you? Yeah. But somehow it doesn't because it goes into chocolate. Yeah, it's quite nice that one. <clears throat> yeah. It reminds me of something, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Shame it's all gone. Mm. Shame you just got the small piece. <laughs> You're going to choose the next one. Yeah. Oh, it's... this looks like popping candy here. No. Suppose really we should have separated them into sweet and savoury. No, it's, it's yeah, cola popping candy. Uh, we did watch a YouTube video where another YouTuber used a lot of popping candy to make some sort of dessert. You see like a bit of overkill. Mm. Also it's got like popping candy mixed with other little sweets. Oh yeah, gosh. I was not expecting that. It does look like little cola crystals with what looks almost like a sweetener. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, gosh, it's quite a violent pop. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, God. It's best not to squeeze your tongue against the top of your mouth because you do feel that pop. Mm. Busy thinking about my candy. <laughs> so, uh, the camera just died when we were about to start doing the next one. Wait, it didn't even die, it just switched itself off. It just switched off. itself off, I'm Still assuming that. So we did move on to the next one, which was like a cola roll-up type of thing. So It's very... We did try it, but I suppose we'll just try it again just for the sake of it. <laughs> I, I'm going to give it a miss, because it tastes quite nice at first, but then it, it just seems to go on a bit. And and I'm not very keen on how gummified it is. And it's quite an intense flavour right at the end. Ooh, and so so now, mint. Oh. Ooh, so these are plum flavoured mini candies. <clears throat> so they look a bit like that. They almost, the packaging almost reminds me of little candy. Pretend. It's just got like a little hole there where you just tip it out into your hand. It's like little red balls. Uh, yeah. I'll just take three of them. Oh, well, you got them. Like, I imagine they're plum balls. <laughs> plum balls. Come get your plums. Plum flavoured me candy. Just have to get your plums out and hold them in your hands like this. <laughs> I've got six. They don't taste as good when you bite into them. They taste a bit sour. Do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have quite a lot of them. So they do taste quite like plums. You stay there, monkey. Tiny. Einstein. We're filming the video. Oh. <coughs> we've only got a few more candies to try. So yeah, so we've only got a few more left, so we'll try and speed things up. Cause and so it's another one. So that's like the dog chew one again, isn't it? Have we had this dog chew? It's definitely the same character we've seen a couple of times before. So this is going to be the one. Is this the sweet one then? Possibly. Okay, so. Oh, Einstein's getting jealous of all these Please chews see. that we're having. Look if you want a, a proper dog chew after. Oh. So this one's just like a really ginormous Watsit style. Mm. So oh. unusual flavour. It's like oh. sweet and savoury. No. Oh god, just really oh. It's really sweet. It's really sweet on the outside. No, I don't like that. I do not like that. It's definitely something you'd have to get used to. Obviously it's help if you knew what 
I don't know if it would help if I knew what that flavour was. Oh, it's like sweet and savoury, but not yeah. in a good way. I didn't mind <laughs> it too much. And so I'll choose the next one. <laughs> Sorry. More of that drinky stuff. Pop rock stuff. Popping candy. So it's showing you the bottle. Oh, I'm really loving it. Soda flavoured lollipop with dipping oh. sugar. Ow, ow. Mm. So I'll, I'll just try some of the sugar myself. You can have it like a dipstick. It is, it is like a dip dab dipstick. I'm not bothered about the dipstick. Right, I haven't got time to eat a dipstick. I've got. I'll just some put some other. I know, I'm just gonna try. So I'm guessing this is just the same as. It's just white powder, but it is a candy. Ooh. So it's nice to know. Yeah, pleasant stuff. Just a bit like I'm a... Sure it's nice with the lolly. It's a bit like a sherbet dip dab. I'm not really... Even though I'm really fond of you and I'm not willing to share a lolly with No. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this one? So this... Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so, so, I guess it's cherries. Cherry flavoured candy made from rice cake. Oh, it comes with its own little tiny pick thing. So we know how much we like to... Other rice cake type sweets. <laughs> They're definitely quite a lot different from the sweets we're used to. And this one, it's hard to... There's so much packaging, isn't there? It's just kind of... Could I not easily just go into a, a bag? Or is it you want sticky? to use the... I don't think so. Do you not want to use the... Oh, they are the soft. So, how is so this? I guess maybe you can flavoured candy made from rice. Stick a candy. few on. It's not I wouldn't guess that it's rice cake and it's just a bit like a gummy to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I can taste the cherry or not, but the cherries. And I have still got some of that nasty stuff still stuck stuck in my teeth. Mm -hmm. it's I wouldn't have guessed it was any particular flavour, but it's very subtle and very chewy. Mm. Not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have liked to have guessed the flavour on that one. No. Yeah. So. I wouldn't like to have that one again myself. Next. There's only two things left. I'll go for these and say, little squirrel. A little bunny having a great time in a forest somewhere. And on the back it says, Cuppy Ramoon. So we know that Ramoon is some kind of sweet. What does it say on here that it is? And so again, it's just like a tablety. Little round shaped Ramoon candy, quickly dissolved in one's mouth. Yeah. Orange, lemon and strawberry flavoured. Mm. Oh yeah, it does. I don't know if I like the idea of them just dissolving in your mouth though. Yeah, I'm not keen. It's very powdery to me, then. Dissolving this. Mm. I think I know what it reminds me of now. You know what, them? <laughs> them fizzes you put in drinks to drink them. It's like a, uh, yeah. an energy fizzer thing. Yeah. Or like the glucose tablets. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's very powdery and it didn't have a great taste to me. Not amazing, though. And so, I think we've just got one last candy. Which is... Some sort of pandry. Pandora. Pandora, Pandora. Pandoro. So Pandaro. Pandaro. Pandaro, yeah. Melon butter flavoured panda faces shaped. Biscuits. Melon flavoured biscuits. Oh, it's just weird. Oh god, I think I've got my broken it in. Oh, I don't, is it just one? Is it just one thing? Right. It is. Oh, I've broken it. Oh, dear, he's broke the air off the Oh, panda. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Panda. That's weird, because I... Oh, why is it just one? Oh. Why is it green? 
Must be the melon. Oh, oh is it melon? Not like so, wasabi or something. So if we just hold it up to the camera. So it is a very pretty. That's Aww. what it would have looked like. A cute little happy panda. Until Aaron ruined its life. Until. Ooh. We only had to small this off a little bit more. I don't know, that, that reminds me of something, but I don't know what. So you can definitely tell it's smelling, which is good. Can you? Yeah. You don't get that sort of watery sweetness. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Melon. No. Like, the baking thing. You know, when you make like a cake batter, mm -hmm. like the cupcake batter, it might taste like that when you eat that raw. Mm -hmm. no, to me, it tastes like a, a melony biscuit. It's nice and crispy. And so I think there's definitely been some ones that were better than others. <coughs> For me, I really liked the big fish. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, that was a good one. The cabbage taco, taro. That, yeah, they were quite They good. were nice. And there have been some other nice ones. There's been so many. I did like the crispy noodles myself. And on the whole, I liked the big dog chew bars. Apart from the big no-no one that tastes like... It was okay to me. Oh, it wasn't. But obviously it was quite unexpected because it wasn't sweet or savoury. It was both. And so there we have it, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that was our um, trying... Japanese. I was going to say Jamaican. Japanese candy. <laughs> Maybe that's next time. <laughs> so yeah, that's just trying... So it's to... definitely an experience. You won't find this down at your normal sweet shop. <laughs> no. I would say it's worth having a go. Yeah. Trying them. Because even though we've watched them before, you can't really no. compare to actually trying it yourself. Just definitely give it a go. So yeah, if you guys have tried these before, let us know which one you thought was your favourite. And apart from that, we are done with the video. We are. <laughs> and so, do you remember what's goodbye in Japanese, Aaron? Konnichiwa. No. no. <laughs> God, you took a while, did you not know what it is? <laughs> and so, it's sayonara, sayonara for me, and sayonara from him, and sayonara from Einstein. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.